Welcome to the week ahead. Headlines. Mathale Airport handover to begin. Minister Ali Sabri to conclude visit at World Economic Forum. 30-day single-entry visa to be re-implemented. This week, the handover of the Mathale Rajapaksha International Airport to Indian and Russian companies begins. Last week, the Sri Lanka cabinet approved handing over of the 209 million Chinese funded airport to Shaura Aeronautics of India and Airports of Regions Management Company of Russia for 30 years. The deal was done to reduce country's external debt obligations as a result of Sri Lanka defaulting on its foreign obligations in May 2022. The value of the airport deal was not disclosed. Today, Ali Sabri, Minister of Foreign Affairs, will conclude his visit to the World Economic Forum in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. The meeting comprised of leaders from diverse sectors and discussed complex issues pertaining to global cooperation, growth and energy for development. During his visit, Minister Sabri participated in panel sessions, engaged in bilateral meetings with counterparts and also visited Sri Lankan community in Riyadh. Starting from Wednesday this week, tourists visiting Sri Lanka will once again be able to apply for the single-entry 30-day visa. The change aims to rectify loopholes in the recent tourist visa fee hike. The move will also reduce the fee charge for the online visa application process to $50 from the $75 at present. Further, according to Harin Fernando, Minister of Tourism, plans are underway to increase visa-free access to over 60 countries from the current seven.